Hi Goody YouTube, I'm Max and today I want to open a Battles of Legend Monstrous Revenge booster box. I bought this at the card shop that I'm usually playing OTS tournaments and because it's holiday season uh, I have more time to do that and uh, yeah, of course I want to support them too. So I bought a booster box and I hope I can open it. Let's get a little technical assistance here. That should do the trick. This was a pretty tough uh, outer seal of plastic. As far as I know, this set has yeah, quarter century rares, one per three to four boxes more closely to four boxes maybe, uh, and secret rares, and I think ultra rares as well, but um, yeah, checking out the value of individual cards you can pull, um, they are just quarter century rares and secrets that have value, I think this one is decent, sprite smashers could be okay as well, we get a little more light, yeah there we go, and Draco Berserker of the Tenji, let's give that one a sleeve. Order here. Macrocosmos, that's a decent ultra rare. And oh, that's Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic. So that's. Oh, so you can fuse Dark Magician with either Gaia or um, Quest of Dragon by the looks of it. Or Dark Magician kick Gaia off. <laughs> that might uh, be a possibility as well. Volcanic Shell might be okay, whatever that is. Uh, battlef battlefield Tragedy, okay. Of course, there are many cards in here that I don't even know, because some of them are new, and some of them are presumably from times I didn't play, but um, some stuff like Volcan Volcanic Shell uh, I know, of course. Link Decoder and Sky Striker Mobile. Oh, that's Alt Art Engage. Interesting. Why not? I don't like uh, Sky Striker cards when they are played against me, but if they have yeah, a little bit of value um, and help uh, giving me back some of the money that I spent, I don't mind seeing them. Numbers Last Hope. Oh, cool! And IP Mascarina. That's a good secret rare. As many of you would have guessed, probably. I mean, good secret rare in the set means it's worth like yeah, two to three euro maybe. Oh, and terraforming. That's one I like. I mean, it's uh, the I don't know how many uh, um, reprints the has in secret rare, but I know it has one from legendary collection Kaiba. So it's uh, at minimum number two. Oh, Photon Vanisher. Oh, wait, isn't this a good one? Uh, Assault Synchron? Nice. I was um, at someone's birthday party yesterday and uh, he hosted a Go tournament and a Modern tournament and had Battles of Legend, Monsters, Monstrous Revenge as uh, prize packs and someone put in Assault Synchron and. Uh, yeah, there was some hype about that, so I guess it's a good card. Oh, and 
I know that this one is a good card for sure. <laughs> Super poly. Who doesn't love uh, getting his carefully crafted board destroyed by this? Nice. I pulled one in my uh, participation packs as well. I wouldn't call them prize packs because, um, well, <laughs> I went 0 for 7 overall. overall so, um, don't expect me to post a deck profile of that uh, for neither the GOAT or the modern dog. Modern <laughs> tournament. My Dolce Green Tiramisu. Ghost Fusion. Oh, Nightmare Corrupt uh, Ibli. This was a decent card for a while, I think. But I don't know if it's decent at the moment. The first half of the box is close to ending. Puppet Pawn. And oh, cool! Double Mascarina, why not? will be interesting to see if uh, it's possible to get kind of your money back with oh welcome labyrinth as secret nice um, if you can get a high percentage of your money back without pulling a quarter century secret rare I uh, think the chances of that are pretty slim I mean we didn't see any of the big hits in the secret rare slot yet. Maybe there's a Zeus or... Oh cool! Dark Hole. I mean this has secret rare reprints in the legendary collections as well. But it's old school, so I like it. Dante. That's kind of an old card, but not uh, old enough for me to like it. Because in, it's a too new mechanic with Xyz. But there are certainly people who enjoy BA and Dante. RGB Rainbow Lucian. Okay, what's that? Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. That's type and attribute manipulation at the same time. So you can play stuff like that uh, Furin Kazan trap card, which is uh, four band cards in one, or at least um, you can. Treat it as one of four. Uh, Ratama again, and oh, Herald of Pure Light. I thought this was a decent card, but uh, I had that yesterday in my uh, packs as well. And uh, yeah, its effect is pretty underwhelming. Let's see if I can get something that's not totally underwhelming. Oh, Nessie, that's cool. Not worth much, um, I think, but I like dangers, and having them in secret rare is cool. But I do think it had another secret rare pl pl printing, not 100% sure. Oh, Bastille Baldrike, why not? And what? Ida Ratant, the Ooze Giant. Never seen that card before. At least I can't remember seeing that. But we are closing in on the end of the box.
and a golden rule. That's a crystal beast card for anyone <laughs> who didn't figure that out by its artwork, but uh, yeah, stating the obvious here, of course. Four packs left. The chances of yeah getting a decent amount of uh, card value pulled. Oh, that's a dark arm dragon and a dimensional fissure. That's a great pack. Plus uh, plus Akitama. I think that's decent. Synchro zone. I think I uh, quickly read over this card and thought, okay, for synchros this might be decent. But there was no um, Azalea, Sky Striker uh, thingy, no Zeus, no. Um, what's uh, there again? Rite of Aramisia, or anything like that yet. Mysterion, the Dragon Crown. Um, that looks like a Cyber Dark monster for some reason. Hmm. Interesting. At least he has a lot of uh, big and well-preserved teeth. On NOH Punk Ogre Dance. Isn't this a decent one? No, I don't think so. Eh. But there are quite some punky cards in here. Uh, that looks funny. Don't slip the dogs of war. <laughs> Yay. And oh, Book of Eclipse. Um, that's awesome play a while ago. But now. It's the last chance to see one of the higher end cards. So let's see. Mm. Oh. <laughs> that one again. Eh, so, hmm. Okay, in terms of actually decent hits, I'd consider Nessie to be one. I'd consider Welcome Labyrinth, IP. Maybe this one, Super Poly, Salt Synchron, Terraforming, IP Mascarina, Engage is decent. Um, yeah, I'd consider these to be the okay-ish cards. And yeah, I will have to see uh, how much the Salt Synchron is worth. Let me check that out quickly. Yeah. Okay, so two to three euro, so um, I don't understand the hype uh, that it yeah, got yesterday, but uh, okay. So, um, this is the first uh, newer booster box I'm opening in quite a while. But uh, rest assured, there will be another one, so uh, stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time on Random Old School Yu-Gi-Oh! Bye bye!